Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is What Determines the Chemistry of Aquatic Ecosystems. Okay, so let's take a look at two different types of possible aquatic ecosystems. Um, first, up here, I've drawn just a freshwater ecosystem. So basically, um, these are going to be your lakes, your ponds, some of your rivers, anything dripping off of snow. Um, and over here, we have marine ecosystems. So basically the ocean. And the big difference here uh, is something that you're all familiar with, salt, sodium chloride. So the big difference is that freshwater does not have high concentrations of salt, and marine has extremely high concentrations of salt. So actually, of all the things dissolved in the oceans, 85% of them is just sodium chloride. So there's a ton of salt in the ocean. And this is really what's going to drive this system, is dealing with this salt, utilizing it, and uh, you know, seeing what kind of chemistry we can do with the salt. Um, and just to give a perspective of scale here, on the Earth's crust, 71% uh, is because of marine uh, aquatic ecosystems. And on freshwater, only 0.8% of the planet's surface is freshwater systems. So there's a ton more marine. We got a lot more salty water than freshwater. Um, and so interesting fact, even though freshwater only contains 0.8% of the planet's surface, and even less of that in the total volume of water, it actually has 41% of fish species. So lots of fishes in lakes. Um, so now, how is chemistry affected by this? Well, if we go back to our example of fish, uh, the fish that live in each one of these systems is specifically designed for the chemicals in the water. So if you have a goldfish, The goldfish can only survive in fresh water. So their entire bodies, their gills, um, their scale coating, everything is designed so they can breathe with no salt. Um, if you put them into salt water, they will die eventually. And it's not like salt water is bad, it's just specific. For instance, tuna can only live in marine environments. So if you have a tuna, If you take it and put it in a lake, it will also eventually die. And so there's so many things that go into an aquatic ecosystem that you can't really sit down and describe all of them, but the driving force behind them really is this salt. So everything that's going to be affected by the ecosystem is affected by this salt or lack of salt. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is How is the Chemistry of Aquatic Ecosystems Decided? Yeah.